most recently, my experience is with my mother-in-law, who is uh, suffering from dementia. She's taken a bit of a turn for the worse. Uh, last week, my wife was down in Florida visiting her mother, and she noticed something very unusual. She would show her mother a picture of the family, and her mother would recognize, uh, there's my daughter, there's my son, there's my grandson. Uh, basically pointing out and identifying people in the picture. Then she would turn to my wife next to her and not know who she was. So there's a disconnect there that speaks volumes about how we map uh, memories uh, that we can then see in a picture, but then we just can't recognize a face of someone next to us. Any research that can be done to, to help people with that type of condition, to help keep families together, uh, would be just a tremendous gift to all of us. This is something that very likely will hit everyone's family in one form or another. If not immediate family, friends, people that you know, people uh, that you've known for a long time that may not recognize you. When this happens, uh, it becomes a very real issue. It might not be real now. You might not understand what this uh, lack of funding will do. But down the road, it will make a tremendous difference to so many people because you do, you do research now to solve problems of the future. Research is a continuous, ongoing process. And, and to pull funding is, is, is tragic when you look at what it will do to affect so many families.